What's up guys? SS Dave here from DroidInsider.com. I'm going to do a quick how-to. Uh, this is the S-Off for the HTC Evo 1 using the Rev 1. Um, this came out, uh, I looked into it and to get the S-Off it's really not too difficult. Uh, what I got here is my phone pulled up where I got the uh, S-Off and on top of that uh, they give you the ability to I'll not refocus my camera for one, but they give you the ability to uh, take that tamper off if you've already rooted your phone. So first thing we're going to do is reboot my phone. So it's back into normal. And you're going to want to download the file uh, from the link I'm going to have on my description. Uh, there's going to be this file right here. It's the revolution. Uh, click on that. It's going to download. Where that downloads, um, you're going to want that in the same directory that you uh, either have your Android files uh, for getting into ADB shell, which is usually right in the uh, C drive. So um, I suggest that you move this file that you downloaded to your, drop it right into your C drive. So uh, the first thing after that is uh, we're going to push the file to our phone. So you're going to need to make sure you plug your phone in and wait for it to uh, pop up. I guess it should have already. And my phone's still booting up. So, so as soon as your phone boots up and it connects like so we're going to go to your C drive where you should have already, this isn't really teaching how to do ADB shell and all that, so this is more or less just showing you uh, all your commands and everything. You're going to type in the ADB space push rev1 space slash data slash local slash TMP. Uh, that's a, basically taking line one uh, from ADB push right here. You're going to push enter and you just sent that file you downloaded to your phone. You should get a how many kilobytes per second kind of stuff there. After that we're going to open a ADB shell so you just type in ADB space shell. You'll see it says root at Android and give you a pound sign. That's where you're going to type in CD space. We're going to go to directory slash data slash local slash temp, TMP temp. Uh, once you're inside that directory, you're going to type in the chmod, change its settings to 755rev1. So that's chmod space 755 space rev1. Hit enter. That's going to change its uh, permissions. Uh, at this point, it says something about an optional. Um, didn't really understand it, and it wasn't really required. So you should be fine there, even if you're, you're rooted, which I was prior to this. Now you're going to do a prepare to gain S off by running the command period slash rev1 space dash uppercase P. That is run successfully. No need to reboot. I'm guessing that's telling me that because um, I've already done this. So you should, at this point... It should say it needs to be reboot, but it shouldn't reboot. If it does reboot, you'll either have to wait two minutes and try again from step two, um, or you'll need to reboot and try again in two minutes. So then after that, it says you are successfully prepared for S-Off, and you should have rebooted your phone at this point. So when your phone reboots and comes back up, we're going to go into... Uh, and just to be clarify, you will need to reboot your own phone at this point. You're not waiting for it to reboot your phone by itself. So once it reboots, you uh, got it connected back in. You're going to start another ADB shell. That's ADB space shell through the command prompt C drive or uh, through your C. It'll be back right where you are here. Uh, you'll need to type in to go to the uh, data local temporary where I still am uh, you'll do the CD space data slash local slash temp get back in that directory once you're there you're going to do the period slash rev1 space dash s space zero 
space dash u. Hit enter and you should have a rev1 successful. At this point they tell you that um, they give you several other dashes you can do. They suggest you reboot your phone, which is what I did. I rebooted my phone into the ADB reboot bootloader, you know, pretty much where you hold the down button and power up, or you just tell it when you hold down the power button to get into the uh, uh, the bootloader. Um, but at that point, you should already be S off. However, um, it'll probably still say tampered if you already had unlocked your phone. So what you can do to remove that tampered, uh, as it says in option number nine, is to you're right back where you were, data local temp in an ADB shell, just like we just were, same line we just typed, but instead of the dash S space zero space dash U, we're typing period slash rev1 space dash T. This will remove the uh, tamper above the word unlocked. Once you do that and reboot your phone and look at the um, look at the uh, bootloader, you'll see that your S off. It does not say tampered. And uh, you guys are all set. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment. I'll put as best description as I can to help and uh, try to answer all your questions. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that like button.